In our health alert tonight, a new study is linking a common virus to Alzheimer's disease. Roughly 90% of adults have already been exposed to this virus by the time they reach 50 years of age. So what virus are we talking about? Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi, joins us now with more on that, Doc. So today we're talking about the human herpes virus, which as many of you know, is very, very common. So scientists found that the virus levels were twice as high in the brains of people with Alzheimer's compared to the brains of people who did not have this horrible disease. Now, two particular strains of the human herpes virus were identified, the HH, HHV6A and the HHV7. They belong to a family of roseola viruses, which are closely linked to roseola. And, and, and the three of us are parents, so we recognize this as a pinkish rash children will often get when they're young. In fact, infants as young as one month of age can get HHV6, and this strain is responsible for up to 20% of infants at the ER due to high fever. Well, Doc, since the virus is quite common, should we all be concerned? And that's the million dollar question, Heather. Since we all have it, are we gonna be all getting uh, Alzheimer's? So the herpes strain six and seven could potentially interact with the genes already known to increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease. But just having the herpes virus does not mean you're gonna end up with Alzheimer's. Right now, there's no proven way to prevent this very form, a common form of dementia, but strong evidence shows, and this is what I love, that a healthy lifestyle could reduce your risk significantly. So be sure to get exercise, get enough sleep, seven hours, keep your brain active and eat healthy. So it's, it's not that if you have the virus, you're gonna all get Alzheimer's, but we have ways to prevent the, the real disease by, by doing things we talk about every day. Once again, Take care of yourself, right? And it helps in the long run, Doc. Exactly. Yeah, very good. Thank you, sir. Appreciate uh, the information. As always, if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, WXYZ.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.